Four Vitality looking to make it seven. I'm here with Harry. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Vitality, they're doing good as well. They just farmed complexity back on Vertigo. And so now we get to their map pick. Let's see how things are looking. Already a nice start for JKS and Blame F as this boost is used to put a stop to the short water control. And now for Kyojin and Apex left in this in a two on four. The odds heavily stacked against them. Uh -oh. And it should be around for complexity. Yeah, there we go. Just stall out the should until they win. And then you don't have to worry about whether you're right or wrong. And you're not because Colt, they do take the pistol round and start as they needed to in this second map. No uh, map, no sleepers to overpass themselves, but they are facing the kings of this one. Cole, actually, they played it once during the group stage, Har uh, Harry. They took down VP, 16-14, a known overpass team. But at the same time, VP didn't really live up to our expectations in their group. Vitality certainly did. Blame trying to get involved in middle, gets the flash nade combo off and gets out without a graze. Oh, s -tags looking a little curious as to what lies back in Monster. We got this triple toilet set up for complexity. And while this is happening, Vitality are working middle. So they might have to uncover the terrible truth that lies back in the toilets here. A lot of bodies there, ready to cause a lot of problems. Apex fires off, you know, just a shot through monster, just to try to give the illusion that like, yeah, I'm holding this. Don't come through that monster smoke. But S-Tag heard the footsteps and a part of me wonders if that shot might entice him in even more. While this is now happening, long control is going to be attempted. Are they ready for poison? It's good for the first. And on the swing, wow. drops out everyone on the long side. As you look for this trade, this is where you uncover just how many players were waiting in the toilet. So wonderful little, you know, claps onto that attempt at the long and toilet take from Vitality. And complexity are on to a second. Insane shots out of poison, making a fantasy burst already. No, that's in full auto, man. And he's just tearing through them. Great shots, four out of five in the round. And yeah, only one casualty there. So no real problem for complexity in terms of rebuying either. For Cold, just gotta, or, or yeah, for Vitality, just gotta take the eco. Already a slower start, right? Just the fact that Vitality ran away with that, you know, 10-0, 12 -0 lead back on the previous map just made us feel like this game was never going to go any other way. Well, when Cole started with the same momentum, the same dominance, at least in the first three rounds, that's got to feel a little bit better, a weight off of your shoulders. Now, these rounds can still get hairy, Harry, as a 2v3 ensues. Vitality grabbed the bomb and they evade. Oh, Yeah, they're going to try and get cute with it. They're going to try and get a little bit a uh, little bit tricky here in this two on three. At the very, very least, right, they would love to do a little more damage, maybe get out of the round with a bomb plant. Sharks trying to clear short. Now, he should be ready for a player close right, but will he be ready for someone up on the railings? I don't think so, S-Tag. Able to remove the con component of this B play. Now, Zai Wu will get into the B site. He's going to hit a weird timing onto S Tag at short, oh, but just looking away is as that peak comes through. That's for you. That's uh, CS for you, baby. You know, you never know when you're going to get peaked. If you're holding an angle, hold it a couple of seconds longer before you look away. So we didn't have the time to do that, though. Bomb plot would have been nice, but without it, you're still going to be able to afford everything. Kyojin even saving a bit of spare cash. Going to be sent in first, I'd imagine, with the Mac 10. 2K left up, not even buying much utility. That screams that he wants to play a quicker round. And so in towards B they go. Vitality looking to start strong, flex their muscles. Poison's here, though. That could be a lineup. It's a lot of damage, and he even gets back onto Pillar. Now dancing around with this orb. There's a second out of Poison and his AWP. And with the earlier tag onto Zai Wu raining in extra damage, these players really are softened up for Vitality. 
now desperately looking for a means to an end. They're going to try and get this bomb down. It's open for CT, but with no one peeking. Nothing offered up. No. Nope. That was your own flash, Zaiwoo. It's fine. Everyone does it every now and again, even dudes like Zaiwoo. He's still got the AWP. Can he tango with the best of them? Complexity moving in. Low on HP, oh. even one would be good. Apex now left in this 1v2 clutch. Hidden over at Monster. Smoke on the bomb. He's got to swing wide if he wants to put a stop to this. Oh. And there's the short peak getting rid of him. Complexity grabbed themselves a fourth. Vitality still yet to field around. They try to change the pace going into a fast B when they when they first, you know, break ground with the rifles. And it ends up feeding this complexity CT side another round. It's still a very scary post part, right? His poison he may do a lot of damage here, but his orc got gifted to Zaiwoo, and that's when you start getting worried. Luckily, Nato was already in water by the time Zaiwoo took out Blame. His own smoke actually gave Cole room to move. He just wanted it, you know, to, uh, to, to stall, to buy a bit of time for the bomb there. Apex forced out by the tap. A double Ops still in the hands, firmly in the hands of Complexity. Can't quite see the legs, they can see him. He does grab the shot, Poison, that's a bit of scene. Going back for another. Oh, the jump! Oh, it's gonna do is delay the, the inevitable though. Apex will eventually fall. And now Shocks doesn't expect a monster repeat. He's found a bit of a timing. If he went there, he would have found players with their back turned. He still yeah, can, he no still might. Looking. Oh, now JKS is giving it attention. There's still all these timings where if Shoxy had gone, it would have been devastating. But now there's someone on his angle. JKS is here. Oh, mate, he's holding nades again. Like, Shox has had all these opportunities where he doesn't know it, but there's been so many chances to have exploited timings at B. Oh. Now that he's smoked off, he's going to have to decide, well, do I want to hang around or do I want to go through it? He's waiting for a flash, but they turn oh. away and they mow down this monster push. Just Masuta left, 1v5, and a long way from home. Yeah, that's a real shame for Vitality, right? Like, he's calling, all right, guys, I'm out monster already. They don't know I'm here. You know, group up with me. And he, they're probably going to go contact. They probably don't even want the flash. But then that smoke comes down. Shocks. He either has to play in front of it and get peeked. And, you know, maybe his barrel sticks out. Or he has to go hide inside and wait for the flashbang. And it doesn't do anything to S-Tag up close. Him and JKS locking down monster. And right now, there's a really good sign out of Cole. This is uh, them showing some face today. In a series that didn't really have any of that. Mask on in the first map. Five alive, the tin use, and Masuta has to save his AK. Starting strong for complexity. This was insane. Yeah, I've never... I've, the first I, shot. No, yeah, the first shot especially. Yeah. I've never seen, you know, the... The monster guy be the one to get out of it unscathed and dish damage the other way. All right, Vitality, we need to see some ideas now because this is a little 5-0 and start for Cole that they're very, very content with after how, you know, Vertigo was few and far between when we look at rounds that Complexity were able to field. Oh, they even silent boost the uh, AWP of Blame up in Con. You can run and jump it from the stairs, but that makes noise. So throwing him up here on the boost maybe makes you discount this position on the mid cross. That's what it's designed to catch out. Apex with a tag, but not quite the kill. And Zaiwoo dead down in Con. As you try to trade that, as you're tempted in by the presence of this Con player, that's where the little one-two punch of the AWP and AK hit you. Oh, Kyojin will dig out that AWP, but there's still a second man here. There's still NATO suffix to worry about. And he's being a nuisance in the back line of Vitality. Just eluding capture and con, not wanting to give this trade over. And now that you hear players spamming short. Ooh, my goodness. Well, that pulled the attention away. Masuta does not want to face the connector player. A site only has poison in it right now. If you ever wanted to look at a silver lining, it's that. But even if you get this kill, even if you get in, you. Oh! Oh my god! Alright, Masuta. 
But as I was saying, even if you get this, you don't know where everyone else is. You're worried about your backline. You're worried about the front. You're going to try and plant in the smoke. JKS can't find him through it. No. But there's that rotation up through Dumpster that will. And oh. so it maintains this flawless 6-0 scoreline for complexity. Yeah, it looks good. All I'm remembering, all I'm thinking about there is that one tap. Honestly, that's, uh, that blows your socks off, mate. Warm feet. But still, Cole, keep it clean. 6-0, and oh, as is NATO. You know, he was 1-12 at points in that first map. He was really having a mare. So this is going to be a lot more reassuring for him. Nice flick out of the boys, man. We're getting some sharp shots from either side in this second map. I'm, I'm glad Cole haven't gone down with a whimper and just gotten smoked on the second map of the series. No matter how it goes from this point forward, they've at least started strong. They've got that to lean on. Only one AWP per team. Zaiwu now donning his. Wasn't really required on Vertigo. Did it for fun right at the end of the T side. But now he's got to find this opener. He's got to do what he does best and set Vitality up for success. Poison and Blaine are looking to fight you in okay. mid. They peek ahead. Oh, Poison catches that Molotov. And Nato down in Connie needs a flash to set him up for peaks. Timing's everything here. And oh. there's the flashbang. Nato Safix has them lined up on a platter. Trapped in the connector, but still looking to fight. Will eventually concede some ground, give something over. And with Poison dead on short, it's opened up this three on three. Look at the path that Shocks has crafted all the way through long. Now, yeah. it, it might seem like a real gift having Shoxy here, but at the same time, all it's doing is making you say, okay, they probably push B. They're probably flanking us through Con, right? The A bomb site is completely silent. And so they're going to be waiting around in middle for a long time, but the kills might come to Zai Wu. There he is, patient for that lurking player. This all comes off the information that Shocks has gained over in A. Yeah. That makes you so mad if you're S tagged there. You're like, why is he still? There's 20 seconds left. He's still in middle. And there's another. Zywoo doubles up. You thought NATO had done enough in mid. Not anything of the sort. Shocks with the information game to give Zywoo the double kill. And JKS didn't even know that they had that position gained already. Shocks has been there all damn round. Lovely little path for Shocks to get up into that MTA box site after he spots. You know, they're very heavy mid setup. They clear poison out. They know NATO's not going to repeat without a teammate there. Vitality, great reaction. You would still expect a third man on A, just given how much, you know, how many players of Vitality were spotted on that top site. But when you don't see them, Zaiwu does everything they need with that information. Putting Vitality on the board early on. Oh, Blame trying to get confident with it. He's been very, very keen to fight middle with support from Poison. And so they're looking to make these uh, these mid fights happen again. Poison dry nice. peaked by Kyojin. That's a guaranteed kill for an AWP sat up in party, and they were never ready for the one-two punch of Blame F there as well. Yeah, you wonder how much Vitality is still riding that high of the first map, right? Like in the in the end of the game, in those few T side rounds, we saw a lot of this. Like Vitality just confident taking fights. Like nothing wrong with that, but you know, on Vertigo, it felt like inevitable uh, that they were going to close that map. Here on the second, Cole coming with a new face. So Vitality are losing all their one v ones right now, and that is giving Cole such a great route back to. Uh, a win here. NATO considers nading the door, doesn't want to put himself in hot water there, right beside. Will eventually come through. Shocks has short all this while. That being said, it's still a 2v5, Harry. It's still not really a way back in for Vitality unless uh, there are some big mistakes made by Cole. Yeah, it, it would take some kind of divine intervention. It would take a bit of a miracle for you to close this out. And I think Vitality know that. They're not even really keen to move in here. Flash is going to go over, but Shocks could just die to the short peak. Zai Wu attempting to gain real estate out through Monster, dies with the bomb. And now Shocks is going to get followed up onto as well. It's 7-1 for complexity. And the last time we saw these two teams go head to head on this map, we did have three players different in this throw at them. And yes, I woo, top of his team, and that's not really much of a statement there. It's a quiet one all across the board. 
this is where, you know, you hope Kyojin doesn't slow down. He was so key on that CT side of Vertigo. And JKS, honestly, on the other side, is having a much better time at things as well, able to have impact towards the monster position, a far more used position than maybe the B side of Vertigo can be. Also, let's talk Connecto Sapphix, right? Yeah. This guy has been a nuisance down in Connecto, mate. He has constantly uprooted these uh, the, these plans, you know, these mid hits, getting flashed in by poison. Well, this time, finally, he's not in con, right? Yeah. He's, he's instead lent towards B early. So that's going to give you a little bit more room here if you're Vitality. You finally have this connector control that has been stifling you in rounds gone by. Are they going to be able to find anything Ooh. with it, though? Because you still got to get past this mid hole to blame F and Poison, and they are anything but forgiving, shutting down the first two that rear their head. Vitality left looking for trades that just aren't presenting themselves and aren't in safe locations to go and get. Oh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Good flash. Poison dodges it, though. Won't hang around and try and take a blind shot. Instead, he relies on the flick that he will hit and blame capitalizes upon it. It's only Zai Wu. 1v4, 30 seconds to find anything here. And they're not giving him much. Blame's still in toilet. But double rotate up A with connector taken. You know there's no route to a round for Zaiwu. He's going to have to save his orb. And you talk about NATO, Harry. Well, I remember the first time or the last time he stood in for complexity. I guess it was also the first time. First and um, last time. Well... It was it was a few seasons of Pro League ago, and I remember they, the the debut map was Overpass. I remember it was T side for Cole, and NATO was you know ten and zero in the first few rounds. I remember he was just running connector rounds on the T side, popping into B short. I don't know why I remember that. I just remember how how strong he started, and I was thinking about it because he again did the same here. He went nine and zero up on this CT side, was looking really really good, or eight and zero I think until they finally shut him down on that uh, on that con flank round. As I we've got the double with the orb. Vitality's only round in this game so far. This is a very different matchup to the one of Vertigo. Eight to one. Complexity have flipped the script. And would we really be commentators if we didn't look at the pseudo psychology side of this as well, right? Absolutely. You imagine if your Vitality were riding this high back on Vertigo where it felt like nothing could go wrong. Even when you were taking peaks that I think Vitality would admit were overzealous a lot of the time, you would still be reaping the reward from it. It felt like oh. everything you did was working as best it could. Whereas now, you can't win a 1v1 to save your life. You yeah. can't do anything. Every it feels like every turn you try to take just ends in another dominant round for complexity. And we've had a lot of dry fights as well, right? Like Vitality just trying to peak angles that maybe you would get away yeah. with in a lot of games, but so not this one. I think the first, you know, aspect of like having, you know, feeling your mental game slipping away, it's like the first step always feels a bit like denial where you go, no, I can still be as confident as I was. You know, it's just a mind game at the end of the day. Like, I got this and you keep trying to play, you know, with what was working. You know, you're being very confident, at least in how you're, you're positioning and how you're poising yourself for fights. But you're not getting the results, and that's the problem, right? Like, you're dry peaking angles, it was working back on Vertigo, but now what should have happened there is happening here. You are getting shut down. And so something needs to change for Vitality, and it's got to change quick. Zywoo's up, looking to be. That wind of change for Vitality has opened up into the A-bomb site. The rest oh. of the gang hoping now to follow through. Misuta's Deagle has allowed for the bomb plant to come in. And now you're set up in a four-on-three post plant out nice. in the open. Poison stripped the first man from the ranks, but oh. he's surely dead to Apex. Double up for the hold. You're going to try and get them both out of there to play around this bomb. Yes, tags are coming up quick, though. He's walked the entire way. They don't actually know where these CTs are moving in from, but they've put orbs in positions to hold off. Apex is not moving, and neither is JKS actually going down to save S tag. What's his plan? Is he going to try and sneak in at the end? They're running away now. He wants a couple of exit kills and backstabs. Perhaps an S tag doubles up. That's massive. Even if he dies here, those are huge kills for S tag. They can afford to lose a rifle here. Vitality, not quite as fortunate. Now, they do win an eco, right? They were planning for failure and they end up with success. So Vitality still have enough for everything here. But those kills right at the end are going to have bitter consequences down the line for Vitality. So two for one right at the end is worth it. And yeah, Poison, he may get that kill onto Shocks, but prior to that firing blanks, man, if, if he was able to hit some of those flicks on Vitality's Deagles coming up into A, maybe that would have been a retakeable round after all, but JKS did not like the odds. 
And so Cole will re-roll the dice with another rifle round. Orbs are plenty. Taiwu heading short and fast, leading with the orb. The spam is in, and it's delicious. That's two rounds in a row. Zaiwu's put, been put down to 30. Last round, he went here, and he got naded really hard. Oh my goodness, they almost stop him right then and there. But he is taking a very dangerous angle. Oh, yes, my boy. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. Run. Well, wow, there was the chance. There was the opportunity. You're not going to get given that peek again by S Tag. Not even he's wild enough to go for that twice in a row. Yeah, and even, you know, compare the CT sides, right, Harry? When we had Vitality up at this kind of scoreline, they were just taking every fight they could. They were swinging stuff together. Obviously, very different map, but Cole, they're not keen to give away picks. They're not trying to let Vitality back in. They're just playing their setups. They're playing their crossfires. It's a good read in this round, moving a third man up A just now as Vitality leave the lower site. Only Shoxi there. And so that gives you an option to escape and go back down connector if you want, but you still have a lot of the map to clear first. 30 second shocks leaves B, and it seems like Vitality will inevitably be walking into the stack. Yeah, five on three, up in A. Poison here with his AWP, and it's been a fantastic AWP to get to watch. Let's see what he can do. As now he's got to rise above it all again. Oh. First man in, first man down. Shoxy hits the deck. Blame F and Poison going on a tear. And there's Blame to close it. This double hold of Blame and Poison in mid has been... I must just feel infuriated yeah. to play against the way that they bounce off of one another like some kind of pinball machine, mate. They're all helping each other out. The, the, the trades have been on point between these two. Poison's got a spawn. A flash will keep him honest. Yeah, I think that was a missed mid mol molotov, if I'm not mistaken, right? So Vitality were keen to explode onto the scene once that missed its mark. Blame. And over here in Connie would have heard the drop down, so he knows they're taking mid. He doesn't have support. He's here oh. alone. And that kill is untradeable. Finally, this little dynamic duo of Blame F and Poison that have been so good at trading one another out if one of them does fall. Well, you've finally gotten past it. While this is happening, S Tag and Co. have taken Monster away. So they, they now know it's not a B player. It's not looking like one. They might start to shuffle players over towards that upper site. As a result, we've already got NATO there. JKS still hanging around in the B site. You can hear these footsteps over towards Con. We'll take the gamble. We'll rotate up. So right oh, now, dear. this B defense is all hinging on how much S Tag can get away with. Apex cleared it, but it already decided mentally that no one was there. He looked and then looked away. And now JKS is back in position in time. Molly in short, denies the push. Poison catches Zaiwu, trying to rotate back up to A. Now we can hear everyone else. Oh my god, a lot of bodies there. Too many for the AWP to deal with. This A bombsite defense now relies on Nato Suffix being able to hold the line. He's pushed up at long. Vitality might not be ready for that. JKS draws the attention in, drops the bomb as well. And that's all Nato's playing for, baby. That's the round for complexity nice. with Nato Suffix clean house yeah i love that round for cole right the info the communication it's all pristine it's all tip top shape even when jks makes that rotate up to as tag calls very quickly then no they are coming back down lower i hear a guy running monster that keeps two on b and as vitality lose this fight and they're all set up on short they realize they can't even go man they're walking into what will be a stack what will be early information for vitality they go back up and the net is already closed on a poison's already pushed up he's the early warning system yes he dies but then jks JKS throws himself to the Wolves just to let Nato win the round. It's not about the kills, it's about the closer. And Nato drops the bomb with seconds to spare. 10 to 2. And Cole are just all over the board. Now they're starting to take more fights. Peeking down middle with the Org. It's Blame, Poison on party, but they're already up past him. Does Blame know this fact? It doesn't look like it. Timing has been grabbed by Taiwu, but Blame turns on a dime and delivers the goods. 5 on 2. And this D ground is as close as it gets to closed up. Poison, he wants more, and he should have it. Oh, Masuda. 
Wherever there's one, there's actually two is yeah. what, you know, Vitality are having to learn the hard way right now. This is insane. Like, this is such a beating. Vitality have had no room. Even when they've tried on these, like, default rounds to do, you know, classic overpass, take water, get the mid control, clear connector, you know, complexity, push them back to the bomb site. So they do so, and they still always have the reads, whether it's, you know, s -tag getting aggressive and getting B info or just stacking up A because B is very quiet. Cole have had the right players in the right places in every rifle round so far. 11 to 2. And is there any undoing this scoreline? Oh, Even that, try, yeah. how, how do you not get punished? Like, you get away scot free. Back to the bomb site. Well, they're trying to do something about this B aggression that they must have pieced together is uh, is coming through. They're holding on for it. Oh, oh Sai Wu with the what? opener. And now he's out of there again. He gets the AWP off of B. And so now, finally, you're in a five on four. No chance at a trade, right? And, and on top of that, you've kind of put a seed of doubt in the minds of complexity. They don't really know whether this is postured to be a B or an A play right now. I wonder if Shock's call to Zywu may come back. There's an AWP in Monster. I heard the scope. Please check it, because that's such an aware peak for Zywu. Poison was holding the metal grate there, the fencing. That was so aware for Zywu. It might have been communication from Shock's. And even as you take this A site, you don't know about long. Your late long player is only coming in now. Shox is going to give that info, though. Now you know about at least one. And so Apex doubles up with a spray transfer. That's so unlucky that they peak deep long right as Shox gets there. Without that, that info, you know, I don't think Vitality are quite as aware just what's going on. And that might force a save. Finally, the money. It's not a worry for Cole, but if you want to have everything, you need these guns. And ooh, Vitality know that just as well as you do should be allowed from this point on. Yeah, it's wild to me that Vitality are clutching at straws to try and manage a four-round half, right? If they get 312 tier, I don't know if that's enough room to recover. I mean, we already saw that be the case for Complexity back on Vertigo just moments ago. So you've finally been able to break this streak. You're hoping this is where you can chain two rounds together to close out the half. As you mentioned, because of that save complexity, you're going to have everything they could possibly need. Look, we got this replay. Wonderful shot out of Zywu. Yeah. Poison never knows what hits him. And it's that kill that really starts to have the whole round spiral out of control because finally, Complexity can't go for those info plays. They're having to play very reactive. They get dealt that awkward timing over towards a long. And so you found your little momentum break, but was it just one round of respite before the dominance was set to continue? Gonna have this nade stack onto the boost. Woo! But the opener is actually Shoxy spamming the smoke. Dealing with JKS on the other side. Another early man advantage for Vitality. And so this is going to leave them right where they want to be to find four at the half. Double orbs are always scary on overpass and both still sit strong on this A site. That's where Vitality are just making a bit of noise. I'll be throwing in his utility. We'll see where these Kong players go as they climb up connector, clearing corners. Orp is waiting for them, Poison. On the right angle. Oh, no, he moves out. Good timing, though. That's the bomb. That's all the info in the world. Yes, Poison dies, but that one for one allows you to stack A if you want. Cole are not convinced. They realize Vitality are going to make a move back down connector, and S-Tag takes Apex with him. Still, Vitality look to group down a B, and so Cole keep two here. This is still the perfect read. We said Cole have had every right play in the book, and this is no exception. Flash over the Dono Shocks is deep. S Tag swings it though, and with a flash from NATO, takes out another. NATO's here to draw him in, and S Tag's ready to knock him down. Zaiwu will trade, and it's a 1v1 for the half between Orpers. Oh, Blame's seen him. Zaiwu, 15 seconds. He needs to get this bomb down or the kill. He's looking for the latter, but. Blame won't give it over. Eventually, just having to tap in these numbers. Blame fakes the run up. On the angle oh. is Zaiwu, and there's four to close it out for Vitality. But is that going to be enough? They go, they want to show they can fight alongside the Frenchman here. 
how will their T side hold up? We've seen a lot of teams struggle here. Vitality apparently no exception to that rule. Oh, double double nades on well. to Masuta. That Crazy. sucks for him. He's just trying to jump peek for the info outside of B. Also, seeing a double nade stack onto the boost there, that might make you believe that it's going to be a B play, right? That's a decent bit of utility for a pistol round to have just been lobbed in to a bomb site that you might not even ever commit to if your complexity. Yeah, the only problem with that is, is yeah, Vitality, they move four down B, and then they realize, like, nothing's coming, it's no rush, and that gives Cole time to go back up, and Cole has so much map control to clear out before they take A. So Vitality, it goes both ways. They fall B, and now they stack up on top. Shox's timing is going to be a bit awkward, a bit skew if, and they might not respect that smoke. Why bother? Mizuta flying, great flashbang. Uh, JKS gets the entry. He was only 10 health anyway after the nades. Apex has to give up A and wait for Shox to stab him in the back. But, oh, that's a light out shot. Zaiwu does the same through the smoke. And Shox is doubling back to long. The position he just gave up. There's no picks open to him and not to anyone. In fact, Poison doubles before Shox eventually gets his revenge and it's bittersweet. 1v3. Three seemingly undoable, even for shocks. Oh, yeah, he's certainly trying to give them a run for their money, but they just won't fight him. That's his problem right now. They won't fight him till they want to, till they have to. And Nato Safik swinging at the end puts 12 on the board for complexity. What do you do now if you're Vitality? Do you want to force this? Do you want to try and, you know, have your, your risk your first rifle around being against 14? Well, there's this little map called Mirage, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> and that's already entering the back of your mind. Yeah, it does feel like we're destined to get there now, doesn't yeah, it, Hugo? Two dominant games as well. Don't get me wrong, there's always time for a comeback. Pistols often seal your fate if the force by falls as well. I will scout, though. I've seen this one do some dirty things before. Already Cole playing a lot safer out of the gate, right? These are, you know, flashing party like that. I don't think Vitality ever did it. And Poison was able to get away with a lot on the uh, the party position with an orb. Even in the second round, when you know only a scout can be out, Cole still play it as safe as they can. They creep up long. No one here. So I will hear the noise, though. He knows at a certain point he's got to back up to the bomb site. Shox is going to see this long play at the same time. This is not fun for Vitality. They know they're getting toyed with, pushed back. And they still haven't rotated anyone up either. S-Tag's checking for B aggro. There's none of that for uh, Vitality right now. And as a result, Cole are going to walk right back down into this lower site. Is Poison going to backstab or is he going to sell the fake? He's thrown all his utility. But now as you hear these flashes on short, Vitality are rubbing their hands together. Like, okay, boys, look, it's looking like we've made the right read here. It's looking like we've stacked our chips in the right place. It's just a pop flash through for complexity. It's really all they can do. If you wait for that smoke to fade, you've got a matter. Oh, 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 Vitality are rotating away. They're Vitality are oh. going A, and it's only Kyojin left on the B site. Oh no, it goes quiet for so long that they start to doubt themselves. They start to doubt the stack and they up and leave in yeah. the final 20 seconds. I, I can't even blame them there, to be honest. They knew they'd given up all the room on A, right? They were playing back in the bomb site. Cole could be just around the corner on A, short and in toilets, but they'd never seen anything outside of B other than the, the short control, which could have just been a ruse, right? 10 seconds, oh sorry, 15 seconds on the clock when that flash came through Monster. There was no room for error for complexity with that play, but luckily his vitality misread, as you said. Well, there was no error to be made. 13 to four and a full eco before Vitality even have a say in this map. Got to give it to Cole to get battered like that on Vertigo and come back looking this good. Not many teams can do that. Not with a standard, not in the playoffs. Not on their opponent's map pick. All these details pointed away from Cole. Yet they still held on. Yeah, and power to him, man. I mean, <laughs> I really didn't expect this. You know, e even if you were looking at complexity going, yeah, they can win overpass. They've done it before. 
I don't think you were imagining them picking it up this dominantly, right? That's the scary part. This is going to be 14-4 when the guns are next out for Vitality. And that's their one chance to embark on this huge comeback. You know, if they don't win that, then it's GG. They're, they're, then it's over. Then we go into Mirage. So these eight-legged creepy crawlies walking up into the A bomb site right now. Flame F, making money. And well, we'll split the check with NATO. It's only Kyojin's USP. Bomb has been planted. Ah, this is past the port of call. 14 to 4. So many similarities in this and that Vertigo game Just for the other team. And Five Alive is going to make things even finer for complexity. I, I just, yeah, I, I don't know. You know, you want to try and consider the comeback storyline. You want to try and hype Vitality up as a team we know they can be. There's a, a six-win streak on the line about to be broken for the Frenchman on overpass. None of these things matter with what we're seeing in this map and series. Cole, two rounds away. Yeah, so as mentioned, this is your this is your opportunity. This is your one chance to get anyone believing again. Vitality, miss shot for Zaiwu on the opener. Nade stack back onto the boost, but this time doesn't find any damage. Yeah, when you set the precedent of doing that play in a pistol round, you know Vitality are going to be very careful once the guns come back out. Three nades this time as well. Masuta wouldn't have lived if he was there this time around. To boost up for Apex gives you some con control, semblance of it. This is a B round. They went back up to A to show face, and Shock's timing could elude him. Oh my goodness, he has swapped sides with Poison. They look aware. So I was going to check it out, but oh, he saw the back. Zaiwu definitely saw the back. Now Shock's is looking in the smoke, and he's got the kill as well. Five on four. Vitality now know that was just one man alone. Where's the rest of the hit? Oh, well, they piece it together now. Kyojin, wide swings monster, and gives up that opening B pick. Masuta's got to hold the oh. line. The nade from Apex is good. And Masuta's spray deals with the majority of these cold players. It's not cold players. That's C-O-L. Just NATO Sapis now. And he will get spammed out by Apex. Yeah, but it feels like exactly what Cole showed us at the last and previous map, right? Like just a couple of consolation rounds. Oh, we got the guns out. Oh, full try hard mode, guys. Don't give them anything. And yeah, okay, there are there are a couple of ways to slip up there for complexity, but they have so much breathing room. I don't think at any point they're gonna feel pressured. Not in these first five or so at least. Poison's having a banger of a series as well, 26 and 12 in this map. T-side open, the first opportunity to do so. Him and Blame F with double orping toilets come the end of the CT side. And Zaiwu, not being quiet in the top of his team, in fact, but not been much of a margin to work with here for Vitality. Cole, again, walk up long side, no one here. No information, so I was still trying to keep an eye on it with that front toilet smoke down. Shox is spotting it as well, but even well-placed orb can find this pick. Flash does nothing, so Iwu hears it and he knows what's coming. Yeah, but he's on a timer because of this toilet smoke. Eventually, he's got to think about conceding this. He does have shocks nearby to help out. And so striking the first man from the tally, Zywu will now fall back, hoping that this baits them into Shoxy and this lo little double toilet setup. That was also the bomb spotted. That's why we're going to see this rotation out of Masuta up into the site. Oh, Shox yes. swings ahead of the flashes and is good for a double, dropping the bomb. Shoxy wow. on a tear. Triple in the toilets and a sixth on the board for Vitality. It still pales in comparison to the 14 up on the board for Cole, but these are at least steps in the right direction for Vitality. Now finally breaking the money of complexity as well. This seventh round should come pretty freely 
to the Vitality squad. Yeah, very dangerous for Shoxi there to get aggressive, right? Like, you know you have the cover of Zaiwu, you've got to hold his divider at the same time, but he hears that Molly get pulled, and Shox knows he can get away with absolute murder there. Doubles up. Flash over the top and tries to take middle. Sees nothing. He's going to be calling to his team now. Watch out on that B bomb side, boys. Watch out on that boost spot as well. Carl going to do this till he gets him a kill. And so I don't think we'll ever see Vitality be going for those early round boosts. Play through Monster with just pistols. Flash dodge, Kyojin. He needs some warm up kills here, but it's only good for one after the Deagle bites back. And the suit is under attack. Luckily, Apex keeps it clean. Three up for Vitality. And, you know, you're up against the wall, so money isn't really a factor at 14 to 7. You're just buying, buying. You know, comparison to the guys around him, so much less experienced. It can be difficult to get your head back in the game. There's still time for it, though. There's still time, but Cole want to shut off the clock right now. This would be the round to do it, to lock in 15, to keep Vitality sweating. Mid-Util going in, trying to push back this orb, but it's coming to them. As I would push party, sees no one. That is massive information, but a missed shot up close. NATO, dead man in the middle of mid on the stairwell. He's going to lay there for the rest of the round. And the rest of Vitality, who had doubled up on long, pushed to try and flank. They actually decide against it, going back. Oh dear, Apex needs something, anything in this beam bomb site being sprayed right now, and he can't live. Nor can he get a kill. Four on four. So we trying to stall the plant out. Could buy time. The nade as well is a big one. They move off the bomb in just the last second before it connects, and now the flank is set up on short. Yeah, they've also taken deep CT, so these short players have got oh, to alleviate no. some of the pressure, but instead, it feels like they're making matters worse. The numbers are thinned out for Vitality. This bomb isn't down yet, but it is looking to get planted by Blame F eventually, if it needs to. I mean, there's still 40 seconds here, and thus far, Vitality have been keen to fight you. Oh. With Tsai Wu winning that fight over Poison, now the pressure is back on these site players to try and get that bomb planted, and they start to realize just how deep this hole goes. They learn about the short player, they know Tsai Wu is up in heaven. Blame F does not have a lot of room to feel comfortable here. Anytime he taps this bomb, he's worried about getting re peeked in the tap, and the fake gives the info over that this is a oh, V-play. The flash is brilliant from Zaiwu, and it sets up shocks to close that round out cleanly. Yeah, poor blame as well, right? There's no there's no open plan when you know, as you said, Heaven and Short are both taken. There's nothing safe for, for, for blame. He has to fake it. He has to try and draw a fight out. But as he does, shocks calls for Zaiwu to come back down, and he flashes it in. That looks scary for a second. I don't know what the call was for Vitality. They didn't want a full flank monster. They all wanted to group Short, and that was fine. They're all taking fights. The, the the big detail is Shox doesn't, right? Two players die on short. Shox doesn't try and throw himself in in trades. He slows it down alongside Zywu and he lets Cole complicate it for oh. themselves. Awkward flashes in middle apex, though. Takes the space that Zywu couldn't. Zywu now sees them, and that's everything for apex. He was just about to up and leave, and now he knows they're coming his way. Oh, oh no! Uh -oh. oh, no! Zywu's dead in middle. Choosing to hang around, choosing to fight that. And now shocks. Oh no, he not can't to pistol on either. This might be the eco round victory for complexity. They partial bought in this one. They wanted guns in the next, but they're here in the now and aggressing up towards this A bomb site. It's only Masuta and Kyojin left to try and make a difference. Four to keep the map alive, and it's going to fall by the wayside. Both players dead to JKS, and everyone taking fight. The favor Cole, they're ready for it. They're waiting. They're sitting back, relaxed, with a clock on their side. And yeah, that is a frustrating round to lose. Everyone falls. Apex gets one there, Aww. and then the pistols come through. It's got to make you a bit sad. Dude, I'm going to cry, Sharks. <laughs> come on now, dog. Aww. You got this, homie. If you don't laugh, you will cry. Uh, well, Cole are laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, that one felt a little bit like, you know, sunk cost fallacy almost, <laughs> right? Like, they'd already have one man die, the others... I think once you lose Apex going one for one, like, yeah, don't get me wrong, one for one against the Nico sucks, but hey, it's better than what happened next, right? Which is everyone trying to trade those kills out in middle. Yeah. Zywu getting caught by the pistol rush, and then Shocks hanging around to try and have a big hero moment. You know, you had like three players attempt the round winning play, and every single one of them ruined, the, uh, ruined their opportunity. Oh, this aggression outside of B is 
caught by S Tag. Oh. And so this might be the beginning of the end for Vitality here on Overpass. That's not going to boost your confidence. 5 and 22, you walk T spawn. Guys, I've got it. I'm our monster. It's free. I'm in T spawn. Oh, he's, he's holding T spawn. Okay, cool. And yeah, this is the kind of patience that pays off in dividends for Cole. It's what won them the previous round. Even waiting there in the middle a few seconds, uh, you know, allowed Vitality to get overconfident, to feel like they had that mid control. They're probably calling, like, guys, we've got full mid. There's one, maybe two dudes here. Watch out your B side, watch out your connector. And then Zai Wu doesn't realize they snuck up on the left wall. That's why he gets caught running back as well. So these patient rounds out of complexity. It's not much to them, but they're all catching out the Frenchman. I will legged on his retreat. Don't know how Poison hit that. Zywu gone. Shocks his orb now needs to be strong, and he'll find JKS. But Molly's down. Don't give him a lot of room to move. Headshot to blame. The calls are not deterred. Yeah, missed shot for Zywu, and he's tagged low in the process. They're getting closer. Apex will hold the line for now, and Zywu wins his long fight. S tag throwing into this clutch attempt, but he needs oh. a plot and spammed out through the smoke. It was only a matter of time. Vitality find their way to nine, but they now need six in a row to force for time out of this game. Has filled that void in numbers at least. 15 to nine. It's crunch time. Yeah, look at what Vitality have got in this round. I mean, double MP9 up again. Uh, oh, no, blind. It's fine. It's fine. He's not punished for it. So we're waiting up here. Boosted angle at long. He's got shocks alongside oh. him as well. Missed shot for Zaiwu means shocks his MP9 has got to stand and deliver. Only good for the first. The AWP knocked out. And Zaiwu's going to get out of there while he can with the four on three. They need to be ready for someone up close oh, no. on shore. They're not considering JKS. Gets the first. How? Missed shots from Apex has meant that JKS is still a threat, still applying pressure. He's looking for the trade, but JKS takes Apex out of the round. And that's the A-bomb site wide open now. A start that looked good for Vitality quickly turns sour. And that's been these last few, hasn't it? Cole. This is the closer. There's a kit available for the retake, but Masuta's is making noise, hoping Kyojin can find something coming up through this smoke. It's gone down again. Resmoke cut out. And as more time goes on and Cole don't see a flank, they start to consider that everyone's here just waiting behind this utility. There's the jiggle and there's the shot from NATO's orb. It's now all on Kyojin, bottom of the server. And he's not going to get lifted up here and now. JKS.